What's up people of the internet? I'm the big Paul here with yet another video. In this video we will be testing the Intel Celeron N2840 which is a CPU based on the Silvermont architecture and part of the Patria family of power efficient processors. It has two cores and two threads and it has a frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD graphics page rail as the integrated graphics, which have 4 unified shaders and a frequency of up to 700 in H2 MHz in the N2840's case. It's also based on the Intel HD 4000 architecture, or using the latest drivers for it available. You also have 4GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a 500GB hard drive for the operating system and also in which the game is installed. As for operating system, we are using Windows X Lite Optimum 10 Pro version 2. You can find the full description of the specs in the video description down below. Ah, it's time for another painful video. The game that we will be benchmarking today is Counter Strike 2. Now, if you followed my channel for a while, you might remember that I benchmarked CSGO. Well, even that didn't run very nicely. And now in Counter Strike 2, let's just say that I regret putting myself to this shit. First of all, I wasn't able to join a proper multiplayer deathmatch like what I normally play. That's because the Celeron N2840 and 4GB of RAM combo is so terribly bad for this game that it just struggles to load you into a match even after waiting more than 10 minutes, by which point the game tells you to piss off and disconnects you, telling you that you're unable to connect with the game server, so you're gonna have to play in a bot match. Speaking of waiting, yeah, there was a lot of waiting involved during the making of this video, considering the fact that not only it takes an insanely long time to join into a bot match, but also that CS2 takes a very long time to actually launch, the two attempts that I made to join into a proper multiplayer match, and the 5-6 times the game crashed or froze while trying to make the video, overall, I wasted 3 hours of my life in waiting, that's how much suffering I put myself through. Also, we gonna bring the memory dot up before launching the game and I've set it to clean the RAM once usage reaches 90%. And let's get straight to the suffering now. 